Hello everybody, happy new year, sort of. Uh, making this video primarily to be an announcement video, but also I'm gonna play games because nobody wants to watch announcement videos, so there's talking and no gameplay. So I, the deck that I decided to play is Father Daughter Dance, uh, mildly updated for the new set. So we got Sudden Schism instead of the bad copy effects like Gleaming Shield or End of Hostilities in this deck. And this deck also can't really beat Avagraphs, it's all about cloning and recurring. So we've got five explicit anti avagraft cards. We've got to be uh, two Sabotages, the one Shakedown, and two Unseals. These took the place of uh, Suffocate and Sleeping Draft in the previous version. Also, I think it's just a good deck to make a video of because it's fun, it has some poofy moments, you know, like Kyphus, like, he's silly, he's fun, like, Kyphus is a great card. And also, it's super budget, like, this is the most budget deck that I frequently play and that I suggest to people. Um, so Rindra's the only legendary that's not from a campaign, and it can easily be substituted for, like, Torgov, even, or, I don't know, some other... For three or four drop phone card that's good to copy and recur that's like good in multiples which most of the constructed playable ones are so I'm just gonna jump into a few games with that well I talk about what is changing so nothing is changing on the YouTube side I'll still make videos when I can when I get the time so generally try to get out once a week but sometimes I go two or three weeks without one uh, this hand doesn't have a unit but it's got a crescent strategy so we'll keep the thing that is changing is, uh, what I meant is it doesn't have a way to clone. It's, it's got a unit and they can duck return her. But So what's changing is that I uh, am moving Twitch channel. So I've been streaming on twitch.tv slash RNG Eternal for, what, 2018 is ending, so like almost two years now. And the reason that I was doing that originally is because there was a no such thing as an affiliate program then. There was a very stark difference between partnered and not. So you need to stream a certain number of days to get partnered. And so I did that to help the channel get partnered. And then that just kind of where I was at, and that's where everybody knew where to find me, and then I could give all the donations and the sub money to ETS or prize pools easily. Now things are restructuring the ETS. Uh, uh, they have some prize money from Direwolf. They're doing some more stuff with the channel, like RNG uh, himself is. And I'm gonna be moving over to twitch.tv slash lights out ace. Uh, I'm gonna take wisdom, because I don't care about Annihilate since I have Dark Return. And be streaming on like my own actual Twitch channel. Uh, starting in 2019, so depending on when you see this video, today or tomorrow, I'll be streaming starting on January 1st, still the same thing, every Tuesday and Thursday at 6 Eastern for four or five hours, and then most Sundays, probably more Sundays now since uh, ETS won't be taking up stuff, uh, like slots that I would otherwise be on, and uh, maybe since it's my own channel, uh, a couple other extra days in there just because I can. And uh, yeah, so that's really about all I had to say uh, on that front. And now I'm just going to play some games. So here, <laughs> I have a fourth primal, but not a fifth yet. And I also have a Vara, so I'm not like super into the chain of cutting here. So I think I'm actually going to grab Rainfrogs and try to nab their uh, either Westwind Herald or uh, uh, Peak, Howling Peak. I think that's going to be the way to go. Although chain of cutting is really good and drug returning it is super good. Ah, I think I'm just gonna grab that. This Vara's gonna die to the Annihilate, and then the when I get it back, it's gonna die again. Or maybe I'll just draw another Primal before then, and just Dark Return this Chain of Cunning. And I've got Strategize, if there's ever anything going too wrong. And I wanted to play Merchant here, because you gotta get on the board. You can't just do nothing against these FPS decks. Um, the popular variant now plays Vicious Highwayman. You can't just sit around and do nothing and get mauled by, yeah, four strength chargers, so. Oh, <laughs> planning to torch this, I guess. That's kind of cute. Actually, I should have attacked first. Eh, nah, I'm gonna leave this back. He's not gonna sack. This is just gonna get annihilated. I guess I'm gonna get, like, annihilate torched here, aren't I? Yeah, so I might as well attack. Uh, I can even dark return merchant. Nah, I'm gonna do champ. So I'm just gonna strategize here, like, take four. He's gonna take it. It's gonna take their whole turn to kill both my guys. I'm just gonna like play Crest, play Strategize, and then I'm gonna play a champ. They're gonna have to have four removal spells after they've already used two, so. Should be pretty good. Also, it's interesting how uh, Howling Peak has made Gun Down into like the premier control removal spell. So now Quick Draw is actually a useful skill, and like rolling Quick Draw on Kyphus went from being like the worst hit, so terrible, to actually being a good hit, because it means he doesn't die to Howling Peak. It's, it's kind of. 
Like, Howling Peak might be too good, but I think that that's healthy for the game to have uh, different tension and making different skills matter. Just interesting. Uh, I'm going to strategize first. If I draw a 3-drop, I will just play it. I right, drew a bunch more Shadow Sigils, so... We'll dump one of those, strategize again, Crest of Cunning with maximum info. And, all right. <laughs> and then I'll just pass the turn, force him to torch this so they don't have torch to pop the Champ of Cunning's Aegis. Wow. All right, well, I just shuffled through a lot of power with that, so. I'm going to go to 14, but then I'll have the two instances of Champ of Cunning, and we should be pretty good. So they put away the torch? Nice. I'm all about not taking damage. Yeah, have a Jotun Feast Caller. I don't care about that. This is just better than Kyphus here when they have a Feast Caller in play. They could easily have a rule spell and then get to draw three, six cards off this. I'm not going to beat that. But if I can just eat this up, then it'll be fine. And I'll take that. Gotta block this guy. Let's get some, like, killer charge. Charge, endurance, revenge. All right, nice. Can't dark return it this way, but I can draw towards it after it dies. I want to leave back both blockers for the Feast Caller. Slash the Hyman. I guess if I, like, play one removal spell, i block this. If they have two removal spells, I lose, but... That happens sometimes. I guess I can Dark Return Merchant and grab a Permafrost if my Wisdom whiffs here. Just like Perma this guy. I won't die this turn. There's basically no way I can die this turn. All right, so they put away their Torch and they kept two shows. It looks like it is indeed the case. All right, so I'll trade this off. Just get the Revenge into circulation here. All right, so Peaks can kill this now, so I think I do need a Dark Return Merchant just so I have a blocker for Feast Caller, or I could just cast another Kyphus. I'm not playing this deck to not play Kyphus. Ooh, green, double damage, killer revenge. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Skill, intensive gameplay. All right, well, I think I'm pretty safe to just bash now then, since my opponent is dead next turn. Kind of sucks that I rolled double revenge in a way, because I can't just, like, dark return either one of those. But dark return on the merchant or the var are both good. So I'm not upset. Like, I think I'm still going to win this. Man, ro rolling uh, charge into killer. Like, so both the times the Kyphus affected the board immediately was huge. If they play peaks here, they have to shoot this, and they have to jump this, and their mirror image does nothing. And, like, uh, Yeah, there's just a lot of ways they could lose. I could have my Kyphus be in my top four and just win. Our, uh, uh, that is okay. I will just permafrost that. So there isn't any permafrost in the main deck because it's so bad with Vara, and this deck is all about like recurring Vara and stuff. But uh, having a permafrost in the market is nice to uh, be able to get a removal spell with Merchant. We just need to clear the way. This isn't quite lethal though, actually. So I get Merchant and replay it. So I'm actually gonna play this here and see if I can spin something busted. Neither Annihilate nor Ranger's Choice kill this, so it's, like, super safe to play this here. I guess it could be Double Torch, but come on, let's be realistic here. All right, Warcry, Unblockable, Deadly. Um, so it doesn't have Charge. So if I attack... This is Double Damage. Yeah, so if I kill this, I go to 18 and 14 Professor. Not quite dead, so I should... Spin this and see if I can hit the other Kyphus. I, I was hoping to hit, like, Charge or Quick Draw on this, so I just kill that. And, but I didn't, so... Oh! I guess that does it. <laughs> Unless they have Ranger's Choice. But now I get to get it out of him right now. Sure. So I did have Ranger's Choice. No, okay. <sighs> so... What do I do? Kill this, force the chump... Yeah, that seems fine. Let's have a whole bunch of revenge kyphuses, and I can grab the Chamber of Cunning with this Dark Return. Yeah, I mean, have to make that block. 
If I can like peek this, I'll have three revenge kyphuses, one in my top six, two in my top ten. And I'm getting two draws of Nightfall. It's just very, very likely I'm going to hit one or more Kyphus here. With that many skills, this should be a wrap. Oh, yeah, easily. All right. Quick draw, Flying, Berserk, Deadly. Doesn't have charge yet. So let's... Charge, Overwhelm, Endurance. No, I didn't? All right, somehow no charge. Uh, I guess I'll leave up Rindra's choice. I don't know how I could possibly lose at this point. This is a lot of powerful Kyphus. What did they even roll? Like Flying Berserk, Quick Draw, and then this one got <laughs> like Endurance, Reckless. I don't know. Somehow it didn't get Charge. 12 skills. So unlucky. <laughs> This deck is just a delight to play. I don't know. A lot of people hate Kyphus for being random or whatever, but I think Kyphus is super fun. Like, I don't think he's overpowered at all. And, like, especially now that he dies to Howling Peak, like, he's not even good anymore. Kyphus is, is an okay dude. Only one power, we'll, we'll ship that. You know what, it's fine. Going to six is the worst and I don't want to do that, so. Let's just keep the hand. I can strategize to find something to do. Fuck, all right. Well, we're facing Oni Ronin. We are on the draw. We have no plays until turn four. Let's see how this goes. I think I'm pretty dead. You know, if like the sky, against Skycrag, like, they usually can answer the first Vara with a Permafrost, but then if you have a Mirror Image or a Dark Return, just like play Vara every single turn for the entire game, then you can win. But... Oh, Merchant. Alright. Okay, this is excellent. So, uh, dipping, un ditching Unsealed because I'm uh, gonna be powering down every single turn for the rest of the game. So I drew my three drops. So I've got Merchant for Permafrost into Vara, into Mirror Image... It's pummeling for two face damage, alright. I'm at 15. Seems like a very aggressive pummel. Jeez, they spent all of their power every turn. It's so good. Alright, I'm gonna put away this... Wisdom, I guess. There's basically no way that I'm ever playing that. If they play uh, Vadius, this at least does something. And the last card is a torch? Wow. Pretty unreal, but you've got a chance since it's just a torch. I can play this, I can block torch and be alive. As if they draw a uh, dry perma, so like the last two cards are a torch perma, then I'm dead. But... Alright, that is really weird to me if they do indeed have torch. Why would they... Let this thing grow. Now it doesn't die to Torch. I'm confused. They must have drawn Perma. So they must actually have have it all. Oh, Double Torch. Oh, sure thing. Alright, well. Dark Returner bust, I guess. Alright, I am dead. Yeah, sometimes you're on the draw against Skycrag and they have four one drops and two torches and you die. Hmm, so what could I have done differently? I could have not blocked my merchant that first turn and mirror imaged it and then played Permafrost that turn. It doesn't seem like a way to win the game. I think I need to just stick the Vara. By stick the Vara, I guess I mean like have it die in combat so I have an extra turn to draw something. I don't know. Sometimes you're on the draw against Sky Craig. I don't think there's really anything I could have done there. High roller is gonna high roll. So 
especially with no two drop, like cutting those suffocates down, although I didn't draw the shakedown or sabotage I replaced them for. But like I've only have three cards that impact the board on turn two against Skycrag, so I'm just like always gonna be super far behind that I need the bar to stick. So if they have a perma frost slash torch heavy hand, basically two of either, and it's pretty tough to win. Ugh, no units, but going to six is miserable, so I'll keep it. I've got a crest. Hopefully they're playing multi-faction units. <laughs> That'd be the dream. Alright, I don't want to schism. I don't have any units yet. If they're playing a slow peaks pile, then this hand is great, so... Looks like we're gonna be fine. Yeah, FJ peaks. So heavy on the primal for the uh, champ of cunning, and they have a torch. I should have done this on my turn, just to like, play around Caleb's choice or unseal or something. If they have it, I got got. I'm not sure. All right, and that's why Rindra is in the deck. You just need units. <laughs> this Avagraph would be kind of brutal here, since I only have one unit. Right, Vanquish is great. I can I can just dark return and replay him. Don't care about Vanquish. An opponent is power screwed. Well, I guess let's play this one from hand. Save my Dark Return for Varas and Kyphus that actually get better when Dark Return. Also, draw my opponent out of their power screw, you know. I'm a, I'm a nice guy. Yep, sure. You found it. Got Tubble Torch. Sure. Each one of these draws me closer to Big Daddy Kyphus. Papa's home. Alright, you just. Right, deadly, double damage, lifesteal. That's pretty good. I just don't have a graph me, you know? Rain of Frogs. Main deck, Rain of Frogs. All right, so that's going to take my Dark Return, I'm assuming. And then I'm going to Mirror Image this and my opponent dies. Uh, I don't know about running main deck Rain of Frogs. Like, first of all, I think that's terrible. I definitely don't know about playing the Reign of Frogs when you uh, are behind on board <laughs> and your opponent has a Kyphus and you don't take the mirror image. Right, Overwhelm, Endurance, Killer, eh, not great. That's probably going to get Harsh Ruled. If the opponent is playing uh, Reign of Frogs, they have to be playing Harsh Rule, right? Let's leave open one Ranger's Choice. I guess I could have put away that power. I don't need all this power. Yep, harsh rule. Thumbs up, friendo. Let's hope I roll a charge and just kill him. So I don't have any dark returns left, so how do I win? Uh, feast caller. Fuck. Well, I feel like I'm going to lose now. I'm not actually sure what I can do. This Feast Caller is just going to go off on me. don't have Dark Returns. So I need to draw... Like, Var isn't going to do anything. They've got a full hand, so they're going to have removal for her. I'm not actually sure. Mm hmm. Alright, there's a way to do it. Champ of Cunning. And that guy goes the distance. It's the only way. Also buffs all my other guys, which is nice. Oh, and of course you've got the torch, so it just gets gunned down. Hmm. Alright, that, that'll do it. 
Wow, that felt really bad. I think that deck was horrible, and I got crushed, even though it should be good <laughs> matchup. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, uh, I guess that's the beauty of ladder. There's always another game. <laughs> Jeez. All right, this is fine. Got three power. We can merge for a fourth. This deck needs to get to five on five, basically, so I have the banner in market. Um, I'm actually using all my power every turn here, so maybe I do want to just, like, Sabo on one. As loose as this often is. Alright, and I hit, so it's fine. Protect my VAR a little bit. Yeah, I'm definitely getting Banner. I think I'm just going to put away this Rindra's Choice. Like, the Xenon decks don't have too many targets for this. Like, I don't care about Ion. I want to win the game before Azendel is a thing. Strategize can help me draw interactive cards if I need that. So I want to, I didn't be sure to not trade this away so that I can play my Vara on four. Very important that I not trade. What if they're just playing like Azimask? Well, I also get to get rid of my own Aegis here. <laughs> Pro strats, powerful plays. But like, they're not gonna annihilate this, they're not playing Torch, so whatever. Yeah, it just makes Scribe die, but whatever. No, oh, sure. Um, I think I can attack because Vara's favor exists. Although they can just double block, don't trade this for Dream Snatcher, not really. Just whether I want to play Merchant for, like, an irrelevant Permafrost. Mirror Image? Nah. I'm just going to strategize. Try to find a sixth power for this Kyphus. And I can get Mirror Image off this. And, yeah, and I found it. So, put away Strategize. If I draw an extra power after this that I don't want, I can just put it away with Merchant. So, yeah. So, now I get the Kyphus next turn. Then... Play Genev for Mirror Image, hopefully. Right, I'm getting attacked for five in the meantime, but whatever. Xenon doesn't really have spells that kill Kyphus. Flying Endurance Reckless, is that the symbol for? Yeah, the, the little squiggle. The little, the little reckless squiggle. <laughs> Vara. Right, you definitely can have that one. It's like a pretty mediocre Kyphus, but I'm still going to clone it. What is this, like, symbolizing? They just think they can get in there and kill me? Oh, they want a Dark Return the Vara, sure. So, yeah, I mean, it's not getting better than this. Warcry, Overwhelm, Double Damage. Well, at least one of those is, like, worthwhile. I got something I can sack to their Vara. Um, I'll probably just take this one. If I was just going to be a 4-5 once I sack this. That was a weak, weak hit. Yeah, it says for 10. Yeah, I'm just going to take it. Get the clock for a bunch. They don't have a Varus favor. They would have attacked differently last turn. Well, they would have not played their unit pre-combat, so if I had blocked to have one health off, they could have Varus favored. So I'm not really worried about blocking this. Eesh. I'm just going to play this just to... In the deck by one, basically. Leave this in hand in case I draw, like, a third merchant. Okay. Get did some better... They get some better Kyphus rolls here. Dark Return would be great. Yep, that's pretty obvious. Or it's not bad. Gets rid of this, at least. It says deadly, though. Ugh. 
Maybe I should have blocked that, just because like that dark return is pretty transparent. And they don't have a good dark return target. I have to block this. I don't think I'm supposed to double block. I just have to draw a mirror image or dark return. Get something really good. This guy's six skills. The mirror image on this is pretty good. So yeah, I'm just gonna block here. All right, mirror image or dark return. Come on, one time. All right, so now my only out is dark return hit like killer plus. How oh, he has endurance? Just like killer quick draw off a of dark return. I mean, I don't have sweepers. You can do whatever you want. Your hand is full of Azendels, I know. All right. <laughs> okay. So I also had a version of this that was Splashing Fire for uh, Caleb's Choice and Torch. Basically, entirely as anti avagraft measures. I don't think it's really necessary with the anti avagraft cards in the deck now. I haven't seen too many Avagrafts. I think it's okay. Um, I'm going to keep this on the strength of Strategize into Merchant for hitting my power drops. That game is mostly just lost to bad Kyphus hits. Like, Flying, Endurance, Overwhelm, Reckless were all pretty... Warcry were all pretty terrible. <laughs> Double damage is the only good hit I got in six rolls. Alright, and I found a Varus Favor, so we are in there. Can't play this yet, but like you want to play Wisdom last anyways, so I'm perfectly happy to just Merchant and such. Yeah, I guess Quick Draw is good against Peak Stacks, so then Kyphus doesn't get Quick Drawn out. Um, hmm. So I don't really need to Merchant right now, and I kind of like all my cards, and I don't know what I'm going to need, so I am just going to Wisdom here into Vara and... So, like, I'm not pressuring at all, but I'm on the play, so I can afford to take it a little bit slower. I want to just make sure that I have the right mix of power and spells, basically. If I put away the strategize, and I, like, get a power, and then I draw two more power, and I'm super sad. That sort of thing. So, Rain of Frogs is so bad, and it should be, like, literally any other card, but... I don't know. <laughs> I've gotten somebody with it before, so it sort of earns its keep. Yeah, now they're on the board for us. They have to kill this and start pressuring me. But, like, it's okay. I'm going to have time. I'm going to get to Dark Return. This next turn, I'm probably going to Merchant Strategize. Uh, I've got an Annihilate, it looks like. Or their own Vara, I suppose. Their own Vara would be kind of rough. Like, I wouldn't want to sack mine, but like I'd kind of have to, because I don't want to grab Permafrost when I might be Dark Returning Vara. Because if you Permafrost and then play Vara, they sack the Permafrosted guy, and then Vara sucks. Ugh. Three, four, life steal for four is not really a constructed playable card. Yep, there's the Annihilate. Okay. Um, so that's my sixth power. I think I want to put away one of the strategizes. Grab Mirror Image. Because one of my guys is going to live. I'll still have a second strategize. Uh, for if I draw like an 8th power. A 7th is fine. A 7th lets you Dark Return and replay Kyphus in the same turn. You don't really want to get up to 8 power. 7 is generally where you want to stay. And you usually can between Merchant and Strategize. Stay around 7 power. And I want to have something on board so that Peak doesn't own me too hard. I'm just going to take this, I think. 
If I roll killer, I want it to be useful. Okay, it turns out it would have been anyways. There was some thought to, like, taking the trade uh, so that a uh, peak wouldn't have a mirror image target. But since they attacked it, they were willing to lose it, which meant they probably had another thing. So I guess like, rain frogs for peak wouldn't have been terrible. But we'll just play the Kyphus and a couple times and hope that's good enough. Lifesteal, quick draw, revenge. Okay. That's pretty good. Um... I think I am the later game deck here. Oh, quick draw means it's immune to peak. That's actually really sick. And then revenge means if they do have a kill spell. No. Oh. Well, I can still mirror image that, so that's fine. So yeah, let's let's get this out of here. Oh, nice. Okay, so, so I'm gonna lead on this. They have two torches, like. Get God, I guess, but then why they permafrost? Okay, Warcry, unblockable, overwhelm. Uh, I guess I'll actually strategize this away then. Uh, or I'll just get rid of this unseal so they don't care since I have these dark returns. And this lets me play a seventh power. Alright, well, I have plenty of good units in my void, so I'll just stay like Like a Dugger Turn Vara, Dugger Turn Merchant, Dugger Turn Kyphus, those are all great. Alright, so Unblockable is good. Quick Draw is good. Revenge, Lifesteal, all good. Oh, yeah. I don't care at all if this dies, so Hailstorm me, please. Or Torch or whatever. Get back in the mix. The sooner this thing gets in the mix, the better, because my dark returns are all cantripping ridiculous kyphuses. Right, so what do I want to do here? Do I want to, like, play a Vara? Do I want to play a Merchant? I don't want to play Merchant because my hand is all great cards. Uh, so it's just, like, whether I want to play another Kyphus or whether I want a dark return of Vara. I'll dark return of Vara. This does turn on Annihilate, I guess. But I kind of want to schism the Kyphus when it comes back and has more skills. Okay. Or they have just seen enough. All right. Well, so we went like, well, like two and three. It was a pretty, pretty solid sample. Like when you get to string Kyphuses over and over, you win. When your Kyphuses roll poorly, you lose. <laughs> when Skycrag is on the play and has two torches and four one drops, you lose. That sort of stuff. Uh, that's Pretty illustrative, I think. And the main point is across, you know, twitch.tv slash lights out ace. Hit that up with your follows, your subscriptions, your bits, your, your raids, your hosts, you know. And uh, I hope to see you all in 2019. Have a wonderful year. Have a wonderful new year. Uh, much love, peace, and go forth into the world and be happy. <laughs>